Hello everyone, uh, today I'm here at the FDI booth at the Greater New York Dental Meeting with David Cook, Associate Director, Partnership and Corporate uh, Relations. Hello David. Hi, it's great to see you here. Uh, so for our audience uh, who may not be familiar with uh, FDI, the World Dental Federation, could you briefly describe uh, what the organization is, its primary goals? Yes, of course. FDI is a, a global membership organization uh, with uh, dental associations around the world. Uh, about 130 uh, mm -hmm. countries represented um, and uh, among those dental associations, about a million dentists worldwide. So our role is to support those members. Mm -hmm. um, it is to campaign at a very high level with, world all, with the World Health Organization, for mm -hmm. example, uh, promoting better oral health uh, for everybody worldwide. Um, so, uh, yeah, big reaching ambition. It's an important mission to reach yes. and educate uh, yes. not only dentists, but also the, the patients, of course. Indeed. So, uh, which are the key areas of action that the FDI focuses to improve uh, oral health worldwide? I think increasingly, uh, in Increasingly, we are promoting prevention. Mm -hmm. um, the World Oral Health Day is our biggest global campaign, which uh, has um, main audiences, including the general public, um, oral health professionals, policy makers, and increasingly corporate partners who we help to engage uh, in the campaign and celebrate World Oral Health Day, which is on the 20th of March every year. Great. Could you describe a little more about this campaign, the oral health campaign? When is it going to start for, for the next year? Well, we launched it at FDI's Congress in Sydney in September. And uh, it is, uh, it's really a year-round campaign. So it has already started. We're building the momentum. Um, but it, it really reaches a climax on the 20th of March, mm -hmm. uh, when many organizations actually celebrate World Oral Health Day. Um, whether it's on the campuses at university, um, whether it's within organizations, the dental association mm -hmm. sometimes will go out to schools and engage in activity and a huge, huge uh, engagement online. Uh, we have a new star of the campaign, Toothy, who is the, uh, yeah. <laughs> the FDI mascot, who is a, a beaver, and uh, he's going to be featuring in his own movie this year. Um, Toothy the Beaver, uh, with a theme um, of a happy mouth. So a happy mouth this year will be a happy body, talking about the links between oral health mm -hmm. and wider general health conditions. But very important, yeah, the relation, yes. because nowadays there are many studies coming out uh, relating, uh, for example, periodontitis with uh, cognitive disorders, with problems in the heart, so diabetes, diabetes I mean, so the list goes on. Yeah, it's yes. very important to make awareness of that uh, relation and improve people's oral health. Yes. Uh, and about your role on the FDI uh, as Associate Director uh, of Partnerships and Corporate Relations, uh, who do you work with uh, or which companies do you work with to promote uh, oral health worldwide? We, about 50% of FDI's income comes from uh, corporate supporters. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the big industries within, uh, within the, 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 the field of dentistry who share the aims and objectives of FDI, that is better oral health, um, and share our mission and our values. And uh, we're very happy to, to bring them on board and mm -hmm. work with us on specific projects. That's very difficult to gather all these different companies with, from different specialties or sectors and to, to get one objective, the, the same objective, to, to make awareness of oral health to all the, not only dentists, patients and um, general population. But I think what's interesting is that um, whilst out in the marketplace they are competitors I think coming together around an FDI table actually is a great opportunity and quite a rare opportunity for them to collaborate. So for example, we have a, a project looking at sustainability within dentistry mm -hmm. and we're looking at the whole value chain from materials, suppliers, manufacturers, distributors, through to dental practices, mm -hmm. right through to, uh, to the patients themselves on the role that everybody along that value chain can play 
uh, in sustainability and making making dentistry more sustainable. Um, starting, of course, with the, uh, the with the premise that a healthy mouth is a sustainable mouth. So the less intervention yeah. one needs, uh, mm -hmm. then then uh, the the more sustainable uh, you. you your, your, your mouth is, the lower carbon impact. Um, but actually competitors can come around the table and say, we all need to be in this together. There's no point competing on a, on a, on a topic such as sustainability. Yeah, of course. Sure. Um, I know that your headquarters is in Geneva. I've been there a month ago, uh, meeting yeah. some of your team. Uh, how many people work right now at the FDI? And it was great to have you with us uh, in Geneva. Um, actually, as a team of, of staff, we are 18, mm -hmm. which is quite small for a, such a big organization, yeah. a big brand. But we rely on an army of volunteers mm -hmm. who are experts in their field, who join our task teams, they mm -hmm. join our committees, um, and, uh, and, and really lean in and support the work that we do. Yeah, that's great. Amazing job. <laughs> yes. And uh, looking towards the future, uh, what are the main goals and challenges that FDA uh, faces uh, and which are their missions in, in the future? I think we've just. Uh, I think you. I think we will see a much bigger emphasis on the uh, the harmful effects of excess sugar consumption. Mm -hmm. um, at our last congress in Sydney in September, we just signed a a position paper mm -hmm. uh, stating our position on the harmful effects of excess sugar consumption. But I think this is going to be the springboard for a lot of work now, uh, campaigning and uh, helping, uh, helping patients understand the risks of excess sugar consumption and what we can do about it. That's going to be a big work stream going forward. Yeah. Of course, we have our World Dental Congress every year. We're going to be in Istanbul next September, mm -hmm. which is why I'm here this week um, talking to people about the next Congress. Uh, 2025 will be in Shanghai. So this uh, post-COVID has, has become again a regular, mm -hmm. a regular part of the FDI annual cycle, around about September, where we go and have our World Dental Congress. We have our big parliament meetings, a big industry exhibition, and of course a huge scientific program where people can come and learn more about their field of dentistry. That's great. So many projects, and looking forward to to know them and um, to be there in Istanbul uh, at the next annual meeting with all well, of you. I, I hope you'll join us. We had over 10,000 people uh, in Sydney and uh, I think we'll probably be something over 15,000 next year in Istanbul. Wow. Amazing, amazing. Yeah. Well, thank you, David, for your time. Uh, wish you the best with all your projects. Thank you. It's a great pleasure. Good to see you. <laughs>